Journal Record editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss other stories making news in business this week. Ted, thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Sandridge Energy is offering up a plan that could help it exit from bankruptcy? Well, this is one specific part of that bankruptcy action. They have a number of uh, senior notes due in 2020 that are uh, at 8.75% interest. They're going to convert those into a new set of notes also due in 2020 worth about $300 million. So it's a clear part of the debt restructuring that will be necessary to, for them to emerge from bankruptcy. Arbitrators ruling on tribal tax collections may not be the final word now. What's the latest on that? Well, this story really started at a grocery store in Shawnee, and the issue is whether uh, tribes are required to collect sales tax uh, at their stores from non-tribal members. The arbitrator ruled that they are not required to do so. Lower court agreed with them. Now the ABLE Commission is involved. They've raised some new questions, and it may end up in a federal appeals court before it's resolved. An Arabian horse show is returning to Oklahoma City after 15 years. Uh, what's going on with that? Well, this is a, a national Arabian youth show. It's about 800 horses. Each one of those horses has about four people along with them. So 32 or 3,300 people coming back to Oklahoma City uh, after 15 years uh, at, in Albuquerque in New Mexico. They've signed a three-year deal at the fairgrounds. They told us that was directly attributable to the many improvements that have been made uh, at State Fair Park here in Oklahoma City. So it means four to five million dollars in economic impact over the span of just one week. Hmm. Now, the Oklahoma legislature is considering consolidation of the state's judicial districts. What's the story? Well, there are several places around the state already where one district attorney serves multiple counties. The one that's at issue at the moment is that some would like to at least consider combining uh, McIntosh and Okmulgee counties with uh, Muskogee and putting that all into a single district. It's not the first time that idea has been floated and it was quickly dismissed in the past, but they're going to take another look at it during the interim. Now, there's a lot of talk about Oklahoma oilman Harold Hamm. Uh, is it possible he could be in the line for a cabinet post with uh, Trump? Well, uh, it's what's been rumored, but all it is at the moment is speculation. And the, uh, Pam Pollard of the Republican Party was quick to tell us that it's much too early for that kind of speculation. Of course, he was in Cleveland at the convention this week and did speak. He was Mitt Romney's energy advisor. Uh, if he were selected to be energy secretary, he'd be the first industry member in that position since the 1960s. Ted Struley from the Journal Record, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.